Good afternoon. Good. Um. Good. Saturday. Um. I'm here at Northwestern. My father had a dissection, a, a tear in his aorta, and almost died a few days ago. Um. He's currently getting an ultrasound in his room, so I'm downstairs eating a donut and some coffee. But I really want to talk about today was like suffering, and how we have to learn to like really deal with our suffering because something that I've understood from when I was really really young you know and not just when my mother went missing but when I was younger than that when I really saw you know suffering and homelessness and you know the things that you see in Chicago that you probably shouldn't when you're young but you see them anyways because your mother is mentally ill one thing I want to say is like we have to really really get a hold of our suffering because our personal suffering. When someone else is going through something, they need community. And sometimes they need community more than you need community. Because the purpose of life, and this is like a part of the circle of life, you know, that God has put in store. And of course I say God is all that is, like the grandeur of life has put in store, is that when there is suffering, when one person is suffering, it is our job as humans, because we're all connected to like the trees do when a tree is dying to reach out our branches underneath the ground i'm talking in metaphors now and go help out the ones that are dying and that are suffering and that don't have enough water and we as humans need to emulate that same thing you know we have to really be cognizant of the fact that okay if we're in suffering and we can get out of our suffering, then we should get out of it. And some people are really, really addicted to their suffering. You know, a lot of people just, you know, feel like if they're not suffering, that, they're, that their life has no purpose. We're addicted to suffering. We're addicted to the pity party of, okay, well, I'm in suffering, so I'm going to stay there because then people will always be focused on me. And it's like, remove yourself because life is not always about you it's sometimes about the people in front of you that need you to really deal with your stuff and heal your stuff so that you don't have to be so that everyone is alleviated their suffering and the only way that you can do that the only way that we can heal the world like i'm at the hospital now my father's upstairs if i was dealing with a lot of crap right now i wouldn't be present with him i wouldn't be able to like give him a little sip of water because that's all he can do even these nurses and doctors and people in the healthcare field, if they are not literally present with their patients and dealing with their stuff, then they can't be their best for their patients in front of them. And you hear you hear this all the time in your jobs and in, you know, training and all this stuff. And of course I was trained in social work, so all these concepts come naturally to me. I'm very into the social sciences and compassion and empathy and like self care and I'm a very proactive person when it comes to dealing with my own stuff. Because it's just in my innate being. Um so I love TED Talks, I love Brene Brown, I love all those kinds of things. But it's not that, it's not just because I love it, it's because I've learned that the world needs us to really alleviate suffering. And for us to do that, we have to literally deal with our own suffering as hard as it is, as hard as it may be to go to therapy, as hard as it is for you to get a medication, as hard as it may be for you to deal with the trauma of the past and the pain of that, you have to do it. Because the circle of life, which is just this, how life is, happiness and suffering are part of life, and there are other people in the circle that need you to help them out. And the only way you can help is if you alleviate your own suffering to help another. It's like when you're on a plane and they're like, don't put your mask, the mask on the other person f after you first. You have to put your mask on first help yourself and then help the other people who are suffering as well and every single movie every single drama does the same thing and talks about this you know where it's like help yourself first and then move on and we live in this society where it's very self-centered where it's like help myself help myself help myself don't go back and help communities and that's why we have all these communities that are you know devastated by economic downfalls and <clears throat> by discrimination and you know racism and systematic oppression because people have not gone back to their communities because they stay in their suffering they stay in their success 
which may, a lot of people who stay in their success, stay in their success because they're afraid to be in their own suffering. So they stay all the way up here, eliminate all the people on the bottom so they can stay up here as so they're not like the people on the bottom. When really the world should be like this. If there are people on the top, people on the bottom, we should all eventually be like this when we're all even on one plane. But that's not happening. Um, so the elimination of suffering for yourself like whatever you have to do to get through yourself, to get through your stuff. because It's so important because it's not even about you. Like there's something that you have to do in your life, whether it's for your kids, for your vision, or for your purpose, for your business, you know, for your big, bigger purpose. Like you need to deal with your crap because those people and those things that need you, they need you as a healed person. You know, like if I was crying while I'm here, which I did have my, my ugly cry, you know, a few days ago when I finally was like, okay, he's alive and, you know, we had our talk together about, because I'm very, very close to my father and, you know, we're very similar, we're like the same, um, we're very similar personalities, I'm the closest to him in terms of like how we think, and um, we just had like a talk and I finally cried after that, but if I was just crying the whole time and all this, I wouldn't be present for him, like, you know, so you need to deal with your suffering like there are so many people i have a lot of you know people around me that are you know don't think about the bigger picture of life where it's like have a good simple job eliminate the suffering of a hard job you know be in a place where you have good friends around you and some people are like sad all the time which is fine if you're sad all the time in the sense of like maybe you don't know how to get out of mental health issues or you just feel like sad but but this the state of sadness is not actually not to be sad all the time is not natural because it, we're, we we um, we are like we're a part of the grand scheme of life of nature and all these things and they and there's always a season that changes so you have to find ways to get out of those seasons but there are some people who are just so attached to being sad and so attached to being mad and so attached to this and they don't want to go to therapy and they don't want to do this stuff and eventually I get to the point you know when I was younger I, I was like always trying to help everybody like and I do still want to help the world but now I know boundaries because if you give all your energy to people who want to stay in suffering, then you start suffering with them and you can't help the other people who actually freaking need you. So, you know, some people want to stay in that. And I've talked to many people where I'm like, you need to go to therapy. You need to deal with your stuff because your life will get better because the other people need you. So deal with your suffering, deal with your despair. You know, some people are going to be like, you just need Jesus. And some people don't believe in Jesus. And I think that that's totally fine because... Honestly, it doesn't, it doesn't matter what you believe as long as you believe in something bigger than yourself. And that will help you to get out of whatever you're going through. Because nobody actually knows what's really out there. Nobody knows. Um, but we know that there is something that is propelling us to love and compassion, all these things. That allows us to get out of our suffering. So tap into that, whether it's through meditation, if you're a church person, if you are, um, you know... Um, someone who's very into Buddhism, which is what I'm very into, which Buddhism, Buddhism is, is a way. Um, if you're into peacefulness, if you're into a combination of the two, like I'm a Christian Buddhist, someone's flushing a toilet over there, like find what works for you to get out of your suffering. Like you have to do it. Go to therapy. Spend more money on therapy than on your shopping list. You know, there's so much. And um, I just feel like that's the way, ultimately the way, one of the ways to heal the world is that everyone has to deal with their suffering. The circle of life needs healed people. So, you know, we come onto this planet as babies, knowing everything we need and not caring of other people, you know, literally asking for whatever we need and being like, I don't care if you care that I'm needy. And then we get older and we start suffering and we're like, huh, well, I have to focus on myself. And it's like, no, like, remember that when you were a child, you came here unless you had any complications or like that but your brain is like no i i have everything and i don't need to suffer i want to have fun i want to do this and i want to play with the people around me like think about that as an adult i need to have everything i need and deal with myself and play help the people around me you know because it is fun also to help people around you because it makes you feel good when people around you are not suffering so deal with your stuff i'm sorry this was a long rant um which my videos are usually about 10 minutes because that's how long Instagram gives me. But yeah, deal with your suffering because it will heal you and ultimately it's bigger than you. It will heal the world and your communities around you.